It's official. This is the federal prison that will be home to Ghislaine Maxwell for the foreseeable future. A judge ruled against her lawyer's request to release her on a $5 million bail. The court proceedings were held via video link, including Maxwell herself, who pleaded not guilty to six counts, including sex trafficking. Prosecutors for the U.S. government argued Maxwell's wealth, international connections, and the seriousness of the charges meant she was a flight risk. An alleged victim of Jeffrey Epstein, one of Maxwell's longtime associates, gave a statement via video link calling Maxwell a sexual predator who abused her. Her defense lawyer argued that Maxwell posed no risk of flight. But after more than two hours of proceedings, the judge eventually sided with the prosecution. Legal observers believe that in exchange for a lighter sentence, the prosecutors will push Maxwell to reveal all she knows about Epstein's alleged crimes. And that could include more details on Britain's Prince Andrew, a friend to both Maxwell and Epstein for years, and who visited Epstein several times in New York, Palm Beach, Florida, and the Virgin Islands. The prince has denied any wrongdoing and so far refused to cooperate with prosecutors, angering lawyers for the victims. Because he is a member of the royal family, he has something that is called sovereign immunity, even in his own country, from prosecution. So it's unlikely he would ever be prosecuted individually. But if he had any moral character whatsoever, he would at the very least step forward and give evidence about what he has seen over the years that he had been and the times he had been at Mr. Epstein's properties. So it's really about moral character at this point. And, and I think, sadly, um, his moral character is lacking. The legal process is far from over. In fact, in many ways, it's just beginning. The judge set a preliminary trial date to begin on July 12th of next year. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, New York.